Zdeno Chara has 45 pounds more muscle and seven inches on Elias Pettersson. So why is Pettersson going to beat his hardest shot record? In one word, the answer is mechanics. When you rotate your body in the right sequence and leverage your body's own elasticity, your body's own elastic components, and then combine that with a stick that amplifies that elasticity, you can rip a shot as hard as a 240 pound, six foot nine monster when you're only 176 pounds. Now, does that mean it's easy? No, of course not. It takes thousands of hours and reps to get there, but you can learn it faster and save yourself learning time by modeling what the best players do. In this video, I'm gonna explain the three mechanics that multiply to make his shot both hard and accurate. The first is that he starts his rotation with his hips, which then translates to his shoulders rotating, which then leads to his arms following, which then leads to his stick rotating. By accelerating each part of the body in sequence, we tap into that second mechanic, which is the body's own internal spring. The technical term is the stretch shortening cycle, where when you stretch a muscle, it both passively rebounds like an elastic and recruits more muscle contractions with less conscious input, making the movement more efficient from a neuromuscular standpoint. Now, the more that you use your entire body to shoot in this way, combining with the body's internal spring, the more efficient your shot is with less effort. And when you sequence this all with a stick that has its own stretch shortening cycle, something we call stick flex, all of these forces then multiply to produce maximum velocity at the end of the stick where the puck is. Now in tennis, this is called racket speed. In golf, this is called head speed or club speed. And this summation of rotational forces creates disproportionate power and doesn't require much quote unquote strength, not in the way at least that it's typically trained. This way, much less muscular, much smaller players can actually generate a ton of rotational force without having a ton of traditional strength. Now, Elias Pettersson also leverages the inner spring even further with one puck handling mechanic that creates a slingshot effect. But that is an NHL standard that we cover in a course called the Slingshot Shooting System, which is part of the Train 2.0 Plus membership. So if you want to learn that last NHL standard and the entire system, click the link to sign up for the Slingshot Shooting System. And if you learned something new from this video, leave a comment down below and let us know what strategy you picked up. Thanks for watching.